Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're unable to right click on the desktop on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is right click on the Windows Start button on Windows 11. On Windows 10, you right click on the task bar in a blank area. And you want to select the task manager. You want to scroll down this list until you get to Windows Explorer near the bottom. And you want to select Restart. And once you're done with that, go ahead and see if that has resolved the issue. Something else we can try as well. You close out of there. This option will be for Windows 10 and Windows 11 Professional Enterprise and Education versions. I will have something else for home users at the end. But the next step I would recommend trying if you're able to would be to open up the search menu and type in Group Policy. Best match, or come back with edit group policy. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to now go and locate underneath user configuration. So let me just make this window a little wider first. And then underneath user configuration, double click on the administrative templates folder. Do the same thing for the Windows components folder. And then there should be a file explorer folder in here. And on the right side, you want to locate something that says remove file explorer's default context menu and I might just want to click on a random entry in here and just start typing it in so remove file explorer okay so it's near the bottom of the list here so again remove file explorer's default context menu go ahead and double click on that you want to set it to not configured and then select apply and okay and then once you're done with that, you would need to go restart your computer if you made any changes. So if you weren't able to access the group policy editor, something else you can do here would be to open up the search menu, type in regedit, best match to come back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And I recommend creating a backup of the registry before you proceed. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, all you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Set Export Range to All and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import and then navigate to the file location to restore from the backup. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK Current User folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Locate Microsoft, double click on it. Should be a Windows folder in here. Go ahead and double click on that one as well. And locate current version, double click on it. Policies, again, do the same thing. If it doesn't allow you to expand policies, you want to right click on it, select the edit, and then key. You want to call this key Explorer. If you need to take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is, each backslash is a different subfolder or subkey. We've each backslash is a different subkey that we've went under up to this point. So now on the right side, we want to right click in a blank area, select new, and then select the word 32 bit value. Name this value no view context menu exactly how you see it on my screen. So again, no view context menu. Hit enter. Default value by default should be zero. So if you double click on it, value data should say zero in here. Select OK. If it was anything other than zero and you already saw this in here, so if you expanded policies, you already had an Explorer folder under here, for example, you would double click on the D word value and you would set it to zero. And then you would proceed to restart your computer. And hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. So, as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.